Okay. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Cycle Gear. They're having a bike night tonight. I took the live wire from the dealership. And we're gonna pass out some Speedway EV flyers for our grand opening. But on this ride here, I'm gonna talk to y'all about how fun this freaking live wire is. Infinite Rider. So if this is your first time by my channel, I am the Infinite Rider. I am a passionate lover of all things two wheels. I do review videos on Harley Davidsons. I myself own two Harleys, a Ducati Monster and a Z125 Pro, along with a few e-bikes that I have in the garage as well. Scroll through the channel, you'll see all the different types of stuff I have. Today, um, I left out a little bit later than I should have, and we're trying to make it over here to this bike night, so that way we can help promote Speedway EV. If you're not familiar with Speedway EV, it's basically an electric showroom for electric vehicles such as this Livewire, Serial Ones, as well as Tumberland electric golf cars that are completely street legal. And it's located in Concord, North Carolina, right by Concord Mills Mall. And we're having a huge EV event coming up that's gonna be, basically we're gonna have a BMX stunt show and a lot of other things going on there. This is actually the perfect time to uh, promote the event because Cycle Gear is having its first bike night and it hasn't had one in quite some time. So I'm excited to get out here, see what kind of bikes we see and hand out some of these flyers to help promote the event. Now, if you've never ridden a live wire, it'll probably throw you for a loop. Like it's thrown me for a loop a few times. I've, I've ridden it quite a few times, but because I ride traditional motorcycles so frequently, I'm constantly reaching for a clutch and there, 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 there is no clutch there. <laughs> and there's also no shifter that I keep looking for as well. So that's the only thing to get used to. It's like all of your controls are on the right side. You don't have anything to control on your left side. You don't have a clutch, you don't have a shifter. You have your front brake there, your front brake at your right foot, and your throttle right here. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, take some getting used to to let your left side just relax and not do anything other than that factor the live wire is definitely all motorcycle the sound of it is very unique it kind of sounds like something from the future you get this nice whir sound especially when you roll on the throttle and there's no delay in torque on this thing it's very responsive and it's instant torque right now I believe I am in the range mode, so we get a little bit more range or the road mode. I'm not actually in sport mode. If you put this thing in, if you put this thing in sport mode, it's like, it's ridiculous the amount of power that this bike puts out. I would put my money on it that this bike off the line and up to certain speed limits is quicker probably than any machine out there. It still handles like a motorcycle. It does not handle like something that was built from a harley davidson platform which livewire is its own brand now it's built like a naked sport bike that's what this thing feels like it has a wonderful infotainment center that i am not going to look at because i am trying to make it there as quickly as possible bug a bug just slapped me right smack dab in the middle of my ex eyes lord one thing I will say, it's pleasantly surprising to be out riding and to not hear a motor. It's quiet, so it's kind of peaceful. I can just hear my surroundings and I have a full face helmet on. I can hear wind gushing past. I can hear other vehicles. I probably could hear people yelling if they were. Woo. This thing handles amazing. Now, I myself coming from originally and initially riding sport bikes this thing handles tremendously well i mean i'd say i'd have to say it handles better than a sport bike i mean my ducati monster it handles really well too as far as in the corners 
because it has that that short at least in my opinion the way it looks and feels it has like a shorter wheelbase so it's kind of aggressively so it maneuvers really aggressively and this thing kind of feels the same like it's ready to just turn on a dime you can flick it whenever and it's just ready to go now this is going to be the furthest i've ever ridden a live wire and we shall see my initial thoughts of it in a later video i'm not going to tell you my thoughts of it today but i will talk to y'all about what i thought about the live wire in another video because i do have to ride it back to speedway tomorrow oh god when you get on it it goes and it is fast i didn't even give it like that was maybe a quarter turn of the throttle i can imagine if i was in sport mode and i fully opened this thing up if you want to see a more in-depth review video about this machine I am going to put one of those out on Speedway EV's page where we're going more in depth about some of the features, the, the performance that it lets out, and just talking about the bike in general. The one thing it takes some getting used to is that fear of thinking people can't hear or see you because this bike is so quiet. and. It kind of makes me sketch because I always say loud pipes save lives and I believe in them loud pipes. And this one, you, you literally won't hear it. You'll hear like little mosquitoes that pass. Zoom. Like, what was that? But at least they did incorporate a sound to the bike, which you can hear that whine, which, which is pretty cool. I could honestly see myself owning one of these and falling in love with it and riding it a lot especially nowadays with the price it is gas like gas prices are ridiculous and with this i could ride it to work ride it back home ride it around a little bit plug it in at night and be ready to go again tomorrow without having to pay for gas prices that would be so amazing that sky is not looking very pretty let's keep our fingers crossed people i kind of want to rev right now but can't do that twist the throttle it's gonna go there's no room none of that none of that none of that and this is a great option for someone that's intimidated by a clutch and shifting gears like some people want to get out and ride a motorcycle and they want to experience motorcycle riding but they just can't get that concept it's it, sometimes there's a lot to take in working the clutch working the throttle working the brakes working the shifter all of that sometimes it can be a lot to take in well this could be a solution for that because this this baby is still all motorcycle and it can work from anything from beginners to advanced riders because you got all those different modes plus custom modes you could tone that power down a little bit so that that way um it's not as aggressive that's one of the good things i feel like about electric bikes is the fact that you can tone that powder but ah is the fact that you can tone that power down quite a bit and not have to worry about you twisting the throttle sending you off like a rocket i feel like that is just a huge pro now in this video you're probably noticing way more wind because i'm noticing more wind if you're not that means my mic setup is on point but i'm hearing wind because you're not hearing the motor. And this thing feels planet. It feels extremely stable. And I do believe it has a lower center of gravity. A lot of the weight is down low um, because the, the big silver spot on the bottom, which you'll see it when I get off up here, that is the motor. And the entire center of the motorcycle with the ridges, that's the lithium battery for this unit i did find out before i didn't know and i like i said in another video i don't know all things you know but i found out it is liquid cooled has a radiator on here um to cool everything down and i was surprised at that because water and electricity you know <laughs> this this thing is solid it is solid now there is one thing i would say you got to be careful because you could get in a lot of trouble on this because it does not make a sound you'll be going a lot faster than you think you are and you're just ripping on it you could be up 80 100 miles per hour and think you're in the 60 70 range because you're not hearing anything so you know you want to be careful with that so i do glance down at the speedo every blue moon but let's uh go ahead and get up here i just realized most of this video i've been in like my 
professional mode. I got two different modes. I got my review video mode for when I'm doing stuff for Speedway HD and Speedway EV. And then I got my self mode, <laughs> which is when I'm on a dish channel. So congratulations, you got to hear professional me, if this your first time seeing one of my videos. Another nice thing about this, I'll tell you this right now, from riding on my other bikes, is I don't feel a lot of heat. I don't feel any heat. There's no heat coming from a motor. So you don't have to worry about, at least I don't think, burning your leg or getting hot while you're sitting at a light. Like on the Ducati Monster, that rear cylinder lets off so much heat it feels like it's cooking some areas that are near there, if you know what I mean. I get, I get like roasted nuts when I'm riding my Ducati Monster if I gotta stop. Like, usually I'll just put one leg down so I can keep one away from the bike to try to reduce the heat that I feel on that thing. But, and it, it was the same on some of my other bikes. They get a little warm, but this one, I don't feel no heat. Like, it's completely comfortable. We're almost there. If I can stop getting caught at every light, oh my god. So far I have burnt up a quarter, almost a quarter of my battery. I'm almost at 75%, so that ain't bad. So what that tells me is I could probably ride back and forth to work twice without having to recharge. But I have been riding a little bit aggressively also, so it depends on what mode you're in and how you're riding. But the world is going electric, man. Like everything is electric nowadays. So right now I'm almost at 75% battery, which lets me know that I probably could ride back and forth to work two times on a single charge before having to recharge it. I'd be pushing it really close if I did that. But again, I have been riding a little bit aggressively today, but that's not bad. You know, you get home, you plug it in in the morning, it's ready to go. Now, I don't think this would be ideal for doing some long distance rides, unless you like to stop and chat a little bit while it charges at a quick charging station. I feel like they need to put more um, quick charging stations out in the area. Like there should be one or two at every gas station. I feel like that should be mandatory, especially since everything's going so electric. Like every manufacturer has an electric vehicle now. So why aren't there more Quick charging stations. Hey. Huh? Electric. Yeah, electric. What's your top speed on here? How long you been having? Not mine. Not yours? No. Nope. I'm here to promote our uh our grand opening. It's a lot. I mean, it's a light. Huh? It's a light. It's like 500, but it don't feel like that. You can you um if you come out to our grand opening. Where is it at? Uh, Concord at Speedway EV. I'm about to pass out some flyers. You'll be able to ride it. This is actually the demo unit that we let people ride. I just can't let people ride it here. Yeah, and we'll be doing demo rides on this. It's gonna be a stunt show. Max is catering it. With Can I food. sit on it? The next day. All right, so the camera ended up dying yesterday and I'm on my way back to the dealership now, but I feel like I could talk to y'all. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. This thing handles the road amazing. Did you see how we was able to take that curve at a speed? <laughs> We're about to do some highway rides and I'm gonna tell y'all my final thoughts since this is the longest time I've ever ridden a live wire. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all that after we get off the highway. One thing I'll tell y'all right now, these mirrors, seriously, you'll have to upgrade the mirrors or flip them down below like most Harleys are. Cause with them up right here, all I'm catching is a whole lot of my shoulder. All right, let's go for a spin. So the one thing that makes it sketchy for me personally, being on the highway, being on the highway with a live wire, is that it makes absolutely no sound. This thing is completely silent. So you got to give yourself that buffer around other vehicles so that that way, you know, because they're not going to notice you. They're not going to know you're there because this thing ain't making no noise, at least on a motorcycle when you're going these speeds like a Harley or something. 
it'll be making that that you'll hear that loud exhaust note if you put on loud pipes but on this ain't no way to make it louder it's just going to make that word sound which i'm sure no one else can hear but i can hear it a little bit but the bike feels good on the highway the good thing is if you need to get out of the way or get out of trouble you can just do this because it's instant torque baby there is no delay in that torque at all it's immediate and it's delivered immediately let me cut on my high beams so people can see me out here in these streets yeah there we go we got them high beams on give me a little bit more visibility people still can't hear me but the live wire handles the highway really well the only downside is when you're doing highway riding your battery drains a lot quicker because you're not going to be able to use that regenerative braking and i'm not even in sport mode but this thing is plenty fast for the highway and i know some people will be like well that bike can't do 160 and 180 miles per hour but how often are you actually going that speed how fast you can get to 100 miles per hour on something like this is way more exciting than doing 160 miles per hour i honestly would prefer doing like 50 and rolling on throttle and being at 102 seconds the adrenaline rush of that is a lot more exciting than the adrenaline rush of just doing 160 solid like it just is it's fact and it's extremely stable at speed the bike does not feel like the wind is bothering at all and that's because of the weight that this bike has but you don't feel that weight because it's all down low you know it has a good center of gravity but we're almost to the exit let me get to that exit and give y'all my final thoughts because i know this video long as hell all right so we are coming up to the exit now and my final thoughts on the live wire i feel like this is probably one of it's not going to be the top it'll be one of the funnest motorcycles i have ever ridden that feeling you get when you roll on the throttle how fast it takes off and it also sticks to the ground because of the rider aids is like nothing like i've ever felt before the fact that i don't have to worry about shifting you know i love to shift gears on my motorcycle and that's a pro of riding a motorcycle for me but not having to shift and just worrying about twisting the throttle is surprisingly quite delightful the styling of the bike is on par i love the way it looks i'm loving everything about this bike the only downside i'd say is its battery life for me because of where i work if i was to own this bike i would have to charge it like every two days and that would be pushing it i personally probably would charge it every evening and if you don't have like a quick charger at the house it takes a while to charge but other than that if you get like a quick charger installed or even um a dryer like it's this dryer electric plug you can hook up um and you can plug the bike into that and it charges a lot quicker if you have that set up then it'll charge quicker and it's extremely economical because you don't have to worry about paying for gas or anything like that and you can ride it back and forth to work on a daily basis if you're one of those sport bike riders who just love to go fast this will literally annihilate any sport bike there is off the line it's like that fast it's the fastest motorcycle i've ever ridden and i've ridden some pretty fast bikes now it doesn't have that top speed that some of those other bikes have but overall i'm going to give this here a thumbs up yeah just like that right there so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button like comment let me know if you have any questions about the live wire down below but i will check y'all out in that next video if you made it this far comment down below just lw so i know you made it to the end of the video but i appreciate y'all deuces love you